Yes, sir. This drive started over 100 years ago back in California. Just a few head of Levi's blue jeans and a lot of heart miles. Cross country that would have killed ordinary pants. But Levi's, <laughs> they thrived on it. Look, the go-to are Levi jeans. Everybody freaking knows that. So I went online. I bought some Levi 501s, I believe, which are the old school-ish. They're kind of straight legged, kind of a relaxed fit, basic, kind of match everything. Issue is they got no stretch in them. Levi, great for fashionable skinny folk. But if you're talking them thicky thighs, by the way, BTW, by the way, BTW, I invented thick, T-I-C-C-C, triple C. And so these, because of this portion right here, as you'll see, maybe when I do some modeling for you, this portion, not this portion as much, this portion fits pretty well. I'm, I'm not as stacked, but I'm really stacked in kind of this region, kind of this lower ass, hammy, upper quad region is really stacked. So they just literally won't even button. Uh, they really won't go on. Got them in a 34. I'll probably return them, left the tags on. I mean, actually, let's be honest. I probably won't return them because I'm lazy. I'll probably give them away to somebody. Um, overall though, Levi's what I've worn my whole life because they're, they're old reliable. They're old dependable, you know, but uh, it's like the Chipotle at lunch. Like, hey, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? I don't know. Oh, Chipotle. Of course, Chipotle, because it's always been there for you and I'm always there for it. Except today, now that I'm thicky thighs, I can't wear it. So that's when this new age shit happened and my mind was open. So we ended up grabbing two pairs in person that actually did fit. Um, the colors uh, going back on it are a little more similar than I would like. Um, We'll start with this pair here uh, from Joe's. This is, um, it's not even called like a stretch fit, I guess because they all have kind of adopted a stretchy denim. So the denim, you know, don't quote me, I think it's maybe whatever, you know, 80, 90% of denim, and then the rest has some kind of poly action happening because they do have a nice little stretch to them. Especially this away, maybe not as much this way, but this side stretch is what's really gonna help us in this region and for you boys that are blessed in this region, know what I'm saying? So uh, we went with the, the Joes are a slim fit. They're also, uh, I believe 34s. Uh, I am kind of stumpy, so I get 30s or 32 in the length, but these fit beautifully. One, they're actually comfortable. I never wear jeans or normal people clothes because they're simply just not comfortable. Sweats are way more comfy, and luckily the lifestyle I lead, working for myself, working from home, I can be in sweats all the time. But having some denim that's actually comfortable, like I wouldn't take these off after going out. I would be able to sit on the couch and watch TV, you know, because they are comfy. Um, waist fits well, not obviously that much of an issue if you get the correct size, but this region, because of this side stretch, allows for my side ass and my low ass to fill this thing out uh, beautifully. Um, the slim fit obviously is just in fashion. And if you have a big kind of blocky uh, frame, like you lift weights, uh, not, maybe not even blocky, but you have big legs and a big ass, uh, like big quads, big hams. The issue then becomes if you get straight legged or normal cut that they tend to look flared out even if they aren't. So you'll look like a little Lego piece in the bottom. Uh, and although that might be coming back in style in the next couple years with these 90s, right now uh, having a more tapered fit uh, or the slim fit, if it's stretchy, will fit perfectly. And that brings us to these next ones. I believe these are Hudson's. So we got some Hudson's, they're a little bit lighter color. Um, I just like to have some variants. Those have a little bit more of them rips in them. This one has a little bit less, but again, these don't say stretch fit or anything, but just nowadays, they all have a little bit of give here. So same size. The only difference with these is I believe it's a uh, straight cut or uh, tapered cut. So down here, kind of the calf cankle area, uh, it doesn't flare out, but it's just a little bit baggier. Where these ones, uh, these Joes, the slim fit, kind of squeeze down into my ankles. Uh, and I kind of like having a pair of each because I think the type of shoes, I'm a big a sneaker head for those that are new, um, the type of shoes you rock look different 
better or worse depending on how that same thing with the jogger, how it tightens or how it loosens. So, you know, something like these slim fit that come down at the ankle, I might be able to wear more of a basketball shoe or a running shoe, retro uh, running shoe, where these uh, kind of uh, bigger ones at the bottom, I'd wear more kind of a flat, um, you know, maybe like uh, my Reebok, uh, like indoor looking soccer shoes or kind of like a, a Samba looking shoe uh, or perhaps a boot, maybe a dressier boot or a casual athletic boot. And they'll look a little bit better with the, the, the wider flare out. So. Uh, Levi's, uh, I got on Amazon. Obviously the 501s, they're the basic pair. Those are typically, you know, I don't know, anywhere from 40 to 80 bucks. I think I paid about $50 because they were Amazon. Uh, price is right for sure. Uh, but again, it's not comfy. They look decent if they would have fit my fat butt, but they didn't, so who cares about the price? Uh, these Joes, I think typically run anywhere from 150 to two. Uh, and I'd say that you know, a good pair of jeans will obviously last kind of forever. And then two, um, I would personally rather pay 100 or $150 for a nice pair of jeans and only have two or three pairs than pay 60 bucks and have multiple pairs that either rip or just don't com aren't comfy or don't fit for a long time. So I believe these Joes were about 150 on sale. I got them for about 100. Uh, and I think similar to these Hudson's, I believe they're about 120, 130. Uh, and they're also on sale. Uh, ended up with, you know, for 110 or something of that nature. So, you know, I think if you get what you pay for, uh, I believe that with everything, but I do it and act on it myself with particular things, you know, my cars, my clothes, uh, even my food, I would rather pay uh, a little bit more uh, and get something better quality and that'll last forever uh, rather than having to redo it. You know, my technology, the cameras, the audio, whatever it might be, I'd rather get the nicest stuff because then the quality is going to be better and the durability is going to be better. And that's what I found with jeans, sneakers, kind of all the fashion game. I'm not huge into buying into just the name. Um, you know, if these jeans say something else on them and I have to pay extra 50 bucks, not down. Uh, but the quality of them so far has been really good. The dude uh, at Nordstrom's was really cool and kind of explained of it all to me. Um, and he was honest about the quality and the fit of all of them. Uh, so another thing that I've gotten as an adult, which I, I'm still kind of shy and whatever, but as an adult, I'll just ask more questions. Where before I'll just try to buy jeans, but now I'll just ask them like, hey man, like what's gonna fit me? What's gonna be stretchy? What's gonna be comfy? So that's what we got into. Uh, and now I'll run the sexy catwalk B-roll. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this video is a little bit different, but it's an issue that I've dealt with and I'm sure you're dealing with it yourself. Check out Nordstrom's, check out some of these newer age kind of stretchy jeans. Fashion's always revolving and evolving, but for now, this is what's comfy and this is what's in style, my friends. Appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe. Comment below if you wanna see more videos of this nature, maybe tackling different issues that these lifters like us, you, me, have in the real life. You know, what kind of car you need to drive? What kind of bulk food? I don't know. Comment below what kind of ideas on videos you wanna see on this style. Appreciate you. Catch you guys in the next one. Give this thing a thumbs up. Salam Mike, I'm out. If you guys, <clears throat> yourselves in the past or after watching this video have found a dope pair that fits you or them thick boys, them peach boys, the peach king. Comment below maybe the style, the brand, where you got them. Let's help each other out. Let's all look beautiful, thick men. Mm -hmm.